Really took some inspiration for that. And also in the mid-90s, I think anime was just, like, it was becoming more and more a thing in the U.S. when before we didn't really have a lot of that. Um, at least actual shops that would sell and it can, was pretty cool. Can someone stop that child from drawing on the floor it's, of it's this that, shop? I mean, that's chalk. really, it's yeah, a, it I don't know, man. Way. He's going to mark that place up and it's going gonna, it's gonna to just cause a ruckus. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Underground. On today's episode, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection coming to PS4 in May. Uh, I have Brett and Kim joining me from Capcom. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. What's up? Thanks. Hello. Thanks for third, having us. Third time's the charm. Hey. Uh, guys, we are, we are playing Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Uh, tell me a little bit about this ridiculous amount of Street Fighter uh, Collection 1, because it's, it's, it's insane. Yeah, I mean, as the title suggests, this is a celebration of the past three decades of Street Fighter, really focusing on the arcade games that made Street Fighter what it is, uh, which is just this legendary franchise that has been with us and since 1987. Um, you're going to get 12 arcade games brought home in one collection, <laughs> um, and four of those do hop online. Uh, we can discuss uh, which ones when we get into the game a little bit, but uh, outside of these arcade perfect conversions uh, that bring these games to your home uh, we have this museum that is really thematically organized instead of just here's a bunch of concept art here's a bunch of unlockable things that you could find it's no here's a museum that is really like through the years and contextualized with the Street Fighter Alpha series or the Street Fighter 3 series and it really is trying to be a, a true celebration of Street Fighter and and more than just hey we've made another collection here it is this is really trying to be this is the collection and if you're ever going to have a Street Fighter collection this is the one and I mean there's few games that have 30 years of experience under their belts in a series sure. so that's pretty amazing do you want to jump into the uh, the arcade selection we can look at some of these games sure and then you you can we can go back into museum later if you choose up yeah. to you guys there's so, a lot of cool but, stuff in there so um, we'll, uh, why don't we start with uh, looking through the game catalog. I can. I feel like I can call it a catalog. I mean, there's a lot. It's a lot. There's a lot yeah. here. Yeah, you got to circle which one you want for Christmas. Okay, <laughs> is that that's how it works? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can only choose one. one. You buy the whole game, yeah, and then you one. choose one. Then it, and then all the others are locked forever. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, these are thankfully like all all ready to go right from the start, from the '87 original. Um, remember playing that one in a pizza place before I knew <laughs> what Street Fighter was. Yep. Uh, and then you get into, of course, the you know world famous Street Fighter Two, and then its many iterations that add stuff as each iteration came out, um, which we'll talk through here in a second. And then you get your Alpha series, Alpha 1, 2, and 3. Alpha 1, 2, and 3, all completely different from each other, despite you know the same subtitle. And then the beautifully animated, <laughs> lavishly animated Street Fighter 3 series uh, from New Generation down to Third Strike. Uh, it's yeah. beautiful, by the way. It's, it's, <laughs> some, it's something else. It's it is something beautiful. Else. Yeah, so the cool thing about this is, uh, as Brett mentioned, they're... Um, 12 games that we have in this collection. Um, you can just jump to the game super quick, and if you're like, oh man, I want to check out another game real quick. Yeah, the loading is... Yeah, you're, you're back into the, the screen. Out, practically in and yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, one cool thing, if you hit triangle, uh, you get a game-by-game -game breakdown that gives you some historical context, uh, information about the hardware, um, but yeah, tips and tricks, but in, in an image, kind of a mock-up of the uh, arcade cabinet, and if you hit X from here, it just kind of zooms into that from there, and now you're back in the game. Mm. Um, each game also has unique, like these arcade cabinet borders, um, which you can turn off or on, and you can also change uh, the screen ratio to be this kind of, you know, one-to-one -one, uh, ratio that you might have had in the arcades, or you can do a full-screen version, which uh, let me show that real quick. Yeah, it extends it to the, the the vertical height, so you still get it's maintaining the aspect ratio. You know, it's not like stretching it wide or anything. But you get a little bit more game on your screen. Mm. Um, and you can also go the full widescreen that's going to stretch the graphics. Um, somebody somewhere wants to use this version. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but somebody somewhere. I mean, just you as, heard a, it here first, as, a, as a personal, like, you know, maintaining the aspect ratio of your sprites. Right. Uh, but, I mean. Let's keep it authentic real the, quick. The, op the options. Ooh. The options. Ooh. Man, Kim, <laughs> Kim was having some anxiety attacks over there. I mean, options there. Because somebody, somebody like, if that's the way you want it, then option is available to you. Okay. It yeah, I there. appreciate it. But I think that the grand majority of folks that are going to be playing this game are probably going to want to <laughs> stick I to imagine, the original. I imagine so. Because, again, part of this is, you know, preserving the legacy of these games. Right. And really putting it all into one spot and trying to give you the, the most authentic version of that game possible. Um, the original Street Fighter that Kim's playing here, well, we're watching the attract mode, 
uh, mm -hmm. which would lure people in to put their quarters in. Uh, <laughs> and but, if you weren't a fan of the borders, you can also turn them off. Okay, yeah. there you go. Okay. Um, but yeah, Ryu and Ken are in the original Street Fighter, as are some characters that come back later in the series. Like you'd see Birdie again, Sagat, Adon. Uh But in the original Street Fighter, you can only play as Ryu, uh, unless the second player butts in and then they play as Ken. Um, but despite that... Uh, How about we just play quickly? Yeah, go for it. Uh, six button setup is still there even in 87. Um, <laughs> That's amazing. And uh, the three special moves you would associate with Ryu are also present. Hadouken, Shoryuken, and Tatsumaki, the hurricane kick. They are much harder to pull off in the original Street Fighter. <laughs> but if you do, it's like 50% damage. Yeah. If you if you manage to connect any of those special moves, it is, uh, it is a game changer. I wanna. I wish that I could go back. I could open up my time capsule, my machine, and ah, go back. Man. And uh, oh, well, practicing done. Street Fighter One. You're Look ready. Look at that. Uh, I'm in there. You ignored <laughs> every other Street Fighter and you only practiced <laughs> the original one. Well, uh, like the. It's funny because this is the. This was the first Street Fighter, but special moves were like so difficult to pull off, uh, because back then there was, you know, there was no training mode or anything like that. But just like any Street Fighter, if you practice, you get good. And uh, it's just, in this game, if you do an uppercut, it does 50%. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's 50% damage. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, caught him on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. it. It's just amazing how different the series <laughs> looks now. That's yeah. what I was going to say before, is if you showed a developer on the original Street Fighter what, like, Street Fighter V looks like yeah, now, I think their brain would just fly out of the top of their head. <laughs> it's a common reaction. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. Brain out of head. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Brain I also noticed that Ryu kind of looks like he is a bit of a redhead in this game. Yeah, so that's that's changed. He starts as a redhead, and then when Street Fighter II uh, comes around in 1991, he gets dark hair, right? But to kind of make up for this inconsistency, the Street Fighter Alpha series, uh, which came after Street Fighter II but chronologically takes place between one and two, Ryu kind of gets back into this look, and it's kind of in the middle where he's still at this younger redhead look. Um, but yeah, the timeline, you get the original Street Fighter, and you go alpha, and then two, four, five, three. Man, is there going to be a test it's on like this, Brett? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There it's might like, be. It's like some movies that go uh, out of order. But, well, uh, yeah. We all know that as we age, our hair goes from red to dark uh, sure. over over old uh -huh. age. So that, that yeah. all makes sense. That all checks good. out. Yeah. Kim, well done. Yeah. Just flying through this stuff. But it, yeah, that's uh, that's Street Fighter One. Uh, it's it's gonna be a really fun nostalgic trip for a lot of people. Yeah, it's it, it seems like oh you know where's all the excitement for this because it's not quite the 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 hype of some of the later games. But uh, some of the like loudest moments in the office have been people just trying to beat this game <laughs> because the AI just gets to this point where like you will not make it past. Me. Uh, and that's just really for watching like. Obviously, people in our office are quite good at Street Fighter. Yeah, but watching I them try to play the, this AI that's just shutting. No, you cannot do this. Uh, it's pretty fun. I love it. You want to? Should we jump into two? Sure. The yeah, game that I have the. It's funny in that we were just talking about playing it in a pizza shop. Yeah. I was playing yeah. Street Fighter Two in a movie theater. There you go. And. I remember the kid that I was playing against kept yelling at me for using special moves, saying, like, I don't know how to do them, so what? you shouldn't do them either. I would, I would, and miss, I never I would understood miss the movie that. To I, play would Street Fighter. I would miss the movie to play <laughs> I have to get popcorn real quick. My yeah. Street Fighter 2 days were definitely a dingy, smoky bowling alley. Mm. I love uh, it. It was a good time. Now, does the dingy alley come with the game? Or does <laughs> that uh, that's, that's a, there was going to be a deluxe edition okay. that came with the bowling alley. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we decided prohibitive, against it. Prohibitively expensive. <laughs> Very expensive, yeah. Would have made it really. It was that or you had to buy a pizza franchise. Ah, okay. It was one of the two. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. You want to uh, jump into yeah, uh, Street Fighter uh, 2? And then Zoom, we're in there. And then you get your custom Street Fighter 2 background, which, again, that, that I don't even know what the night, marble or granite background, that really takes me back. Yes. Um, it's like I'm there, Brett. And that CPS1 music, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I'm about. <laughs> That sonic boom, that CPS one sonic boom. Mm -hmm. That's and how a sonic boom should sound. And you know, you know what they say about Guile's theme. Uh, it does still go with everything. <laughs> just, just <laughs> He's also one of the best characters. <laughs> <laughs> let's, just, let's just use Guile. <laughs> Uh, yeah, in, in regular Street Fighter 2, I think Guile did over time. Like, he's just the best, right? Uh, among the selectable characters. Yeah, everybody wanted to play him. And also, my Disney. also my hairstyle inspiration for a long time in my younger days. Now, not so much. You turn some heads with that one. Yeah, no, you definitely can. Um, but yeah, that was, what, a two combos? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, like anything in this game, like, dizzy someone. And, uh, 
which also uh, helps people remember what combo it is since it's only three hits. <laughs> there's, I don't, no, there's no elaborate 20 hit combos or anything. I know that I don't, want, I don't want us to get overly technical, sure. but do you want to speak a little bit about sort of the, um, the porting process and actually creating like arcade perfect versions of these games? Uh, is there like a high level like layman's version uh, you can I give mean, me? Yeah, the, the, the like, short version is uh, developer Digital Eclipse uh, use some of the source elements and in some cases some of the boards uh, to bring all these games over. So uh, we've had a lot of people playing the game and digging into it and trying to be like, is this does this match up with my memories? Is Are these moves I want to pull off, are they still there? Are they still working the way they should? And yeah, we're really proud of it. That's fantastic. I mean, it looks exactly how I remember. Except this Chun Li uh, before she had her blue outfit on the versus oh. screen. It was she's still blue in the game, but she still has the an orange outfit. For ah, iconic blue color. Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was going to say that it's also fun to see the character <laughs> select screen in, yeah. that, in the original Street Fighter 2 just because it's, it looks like you're seeing <laughs> just a few pieces to the puzzle, but yeah. that, that was it. And that's what's crazy is uh, this was, again, in 1991 in the arcade days, like uh, to have eight selectable characters in a time when a lot of arcade games it was, you have the one character you play as, or you can pick among two or three. Like in Final Fight, you have three characters you can choose from. Uh, Whereas this, it was eight. They are all distinct. They all have their own special moves. They all have their own matchups. And having to go into an arcade and like figure a lot of this stuff out with all the people around you, it was just there, there's a reason this took over so many arcades in the 90s. Uh, it was just this communal experience. And uh, yeah, I it just it, it's one of those games where you, you kind of forget about it over time. Like the original Street Fighter 2, you think about four or five, what's happening now. But then anytime you see it in motion, you're just like, man. This is it. I remember those days, man. What was the arcade scene like, like, you know, the U.S. or, you know, other western parts of the world with uh, with Japan, like the arcade scene in Japan at that time? Were there parallels between those two, would you say? Uh, I, uh, I mean, it kind of exploded in, bol in pretty much all, all arcades, right? Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. Japan was definitely was on fire. Uh, Not literally. Metaphorically yeah, metaphorically speaking, on fire, yes. Speaking, uh, <laughs> with excitement. The, the arcade the fires scene, of his passion. The arcade scene was on fire. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it was, I mean... Yeah, e I mean, even in like a, you know, kind of rural Midwestern nowhere, where I was, the bowling alley. One of my like most vivid memories of two back in probably '91 or '92 was, I mean, I was 11 years old, I think, but playing Street Fighter Two, and get having a couple rounds with somebody, win one, and then I win the next one, and then I lost, and I turn around, I'm like, up, oh, lost, I don't have any more money. Turn around, and it's just a sea of people in this yeah. in this bowling alley off the off the highway with no other buildings to the horizon it's just this it's a shack right and even here this game a thousand miles from anything is just people just hovering around it and it, it was it was everywhere yeah you want to jump into the next game yeah what do you think so what else uh, next next in the line I don't know if you want to go through like literally all 12 no we don't have let's let's pick another I mean do you guys have personal favorites or things where you feel like it really shows off leaps in the series well um, we can show up uh, hyper fighting uh, this, these are, this is one of the the first online games that we have four, on, four online games in this collection yeah. Yeah, yeah you want to go through those we have hyper fighting what else yeah, yeah hyper fighting uh, hyper fighting and super street fighter 2 turbo from the street fighter 2 series uh, and again those two are well, I'll wait till I finish. Alpha <laughs> three on the, on the, from the Alpha side, and then Third Strike from the Street Fighter three side. And each of these games kind of represents where that game, where that particular game, ended up. Uh, Hyper fighting, like we're looking at here, is kind of where Street Fighter two all led until Super Street Fighter two changed things up with like a, a lot of revisions, not just on gameplay, but even visually, adding four more characters like Cammy, Fei Long. Uh, so. That's why Hyper Fighting kind of gets this extra attention as this is 2 and Champion and Hyper all kind of leading to this game, whereas Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo is the ultimate expression, in a sense, of Street Fighter 2 as a whole. Um, so we wanted to give players both of those options. And then Alpha 3 and Third Strike are similarly where those series led, ultimately. You want to jump into a match? What do you think? No, really. Or do you want to back out into a different game? I don't know. There's too many. Th there's too many options. There is. Uh, I'll just play one one game. Uh, one thing that you'll definitely uh, be able to differentiate is the speed is a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. Not a, not a little bit. A lot. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> speed's a lot faster. Uh, people's default colors changed. Um, a lot of characters got brand new moves. Like you saw the air Tatsumaki, which didn't have in the original Street Fighter 2. Um, Chun Li gains her fireball in this version. She didn't have it when the games first started. Um, 
And also Ryu and Ken get way more differentiated by this point. Uh, in regular Street Fighter 2, Ryu and Ken pretty pretty similar. Right. Um, but by this point, they're starting to kind of diverge. Yeah. And especially in Super, you start getting some, some bigger broad. And now today, they're completely different characters. You're saying Ryu and Ken started off as similar characters? Hey are you hey. are you serious? Their, their moveset in Street Fighter 2 was uh, exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. They just look different. It was like, do you want to be... Hot rotten red 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 <laughs> e man or do you want to be like serious warrior guy? Like, that's that's just um it. Ken is totally serious all the time yes. right, when it comes to fighting. He's Dude. a party animal. He's a uh, Is he I don't really know the lore behind Ken. I know a little bit more about Ryu, but Ryu's got some stubble in this, by the way. This was an early yeah. precursor to bearded Ryu. It was. Yeah. Um it See? Was, he actually uh, uh, he actually gains that in uh, Champion Edition. Yeah. So we'll show right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Segway. There you go. Right ah, there it is. But anyway. <laughs> what did you say, Ryan? You want to see what he looked like in Street Fighter 2? Oh, I could do it in a second. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Yeah, and he's got ah, a, a look much... Look, that. Oh, look at that baby face. <laughs> so young. Goodness. Everybody's like children in this game. Man, oh, and man. These guys are the same. Yeah. Look at him. Uh, oh, like, even the chin. Yeah, the, 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 their chin length is about the same. A <laughs> little different. And shape. I've actually also, never Ken looks really angry. <laughs> he's had it, man. He's, yeah, he's, 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 he's loaded done. and he wants he's to get over back. It. <laughs> he wants to get back to his boat. Um, we have set in the Super Turbo. Yeah, so uh, this is the, the second online game. And it has this, you know, this intro Oops, that, like, people, that a lot of people remember from. Uh, this is what another attract mode that you would walk up and see. And again, mm. back in the day, to see something this detailed in an yeah. arcade was just jaw-dropping. And, and you're you thinking would, like, oh my god. Yeah, you would just stop where you're doing and be like, I'm putting my money <laughs> Get, right Put here. all the quarters into this. <laughs> off they go. And off they go. Uh, this is the uh, first appearance of Akuma. A nice uh, trivia for you. He makes a cameo here in the intro. Kabam. Bye bye um, Super. Lightning. That's, that's why you get the electricity on fire. fire. <laughs> All the elements. Oh, now it's <laughs> raining. Um, Do you guys? I think you guys should fight. Oh, man. Not like in real life. Like I in, think you in, said in, two in was game. your game, right? All you right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll get in. I'll get in. Uh, Do you want to pass so, me a controller? Yeah. Boom. You're in there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me see if this works. I mean, there's no, no other right. option oh, besides gonna... Ken. I can't do it. <laughs> I like how I get, I just got completely thrown under the bus. <laughs> You're like, you guys should fight. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll hop in later, but I'll, I'll just say, uh, yeah. So Super Street Fighter 2 uh, <laughs> did add, you can see at the bottom, uh, the Super Meter, uh, which was introduction of Super Combos. I'm like um, remembering which which is heavy. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> this green color's throwing me off, though. <laughs> It's this lime green Ken, man. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's only the finest Ken for this program. <laughs> um, oh, and, to, and uh, go, we I have... Guess. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 the mind reading. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Right think, to the face. I think you got robbed. I think that's that's not fair. No, that's, man. I saw, this I saw all, that fireball. It's all fair. Everything, everything's fair here. <laughs> Ooh, right to the face. What? Yeah. What's crazy is because uh, this is uh, '94. So this is three years, three years of Street Fighter dev, where these characters now have a lot more frames of animation ah. than they used to have, mm -hmm. and moves they didn't have, like oh. that meet that just that, in the corner, two hit punch, just there. in the corner. Oh no, dizzy. Oh, so dizzy. Oh, <laughs> what? Whoa! The recovery. That was so so quick. Uh, uh. Oh man. Okay. You notice it, that it, when it, that when a, I start 18. playing, the program loses a host completely. <laughs> I'm just com totally focused on it. I think it's got way better. <laughs> but t hey, are you saying that my color commentary doesn't add enormous value to the oh, wait. program? <laughs> uh, I see how that could be taken that way. <laughs> um, Ryu also has a fire fireball in this game. Oh, do you want to well. show? show it up. Ooh, go. yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, you don't have that. I get, I get set up. <laughs> Ken has, Ken has <laughs> a. I think his fierce dragon punch is. is on fire, right? Is it? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, uh, I'm just, just, more I'm just regular, see? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, what's going to happen? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, man. Uh. <laughs> you think you yeah. can pull off his, his super combo? Uh, Probably not. I mean, give it a try. I, I, don't, I don't even remember how to do it. Do you want to show me? Sure. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's not, not as angry in this version. Should show off. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's actually really happy. <laughs> One of the super characters. All right, do we need to just build a meter? 
Yeah. Do you want me to just let you wail on me? Alright. I can just build beard this way. Yep. Uh, Do so it. Let's go over here. Alright. All right. Yeah. Ready. Whack, whack. Boom! All right, nice. No, all right, now, a, now's your turn to try. It's a little. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little more graphically uh, intense than uh, Street Fighter Five. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, the sprites. The sprites speak. To me. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's and that's that's the thing is that. Um, Whoa. And the flash. Up the there. classic. The classic argument I think made is that sprites age very well. They I do. mean, that's th this style of game art really transcends a lot. So, oh, okay. But you want to jump out? I go to. You want to go into Alpha? Okay. I feel like we should see Alpha before we we wrap up. For the day. Yeah, let's hop into uh, let's do Alpha Three and Third Strike really quick. Okay. Uh, just to kind of show where the series led. Um, oh man, it's Brett's turn. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna get wrecked. Uh, <laughs> but actually, I think it's a good chance to. Uh, I know Sakura is your character, right? For Alpha Three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see some. Uh, let's see something good. So the Alpha series. Uh, something took a, good. Took a you little bit more of a this. cartoonic. A cartoonic is that word? Yeah, yeah it is now. Oh, you yeah. made it. It's got a little bit more. Yeah, like a little bit more anime uh, theme to it. Oh, um, mm -hmm. Really themed after like the uh, the 1994 animated movie, uh, which there's even a poster of it kind of hidden in the background of one of the stages. Ah. Um, but really took some inspiration for that, and also in the mid 90s, I think anime was just like it was becoming more and more a thing in the U.S. When before we didn't really have a lot of that, um, at least actual shops that would sell and it was can, pretty cool. Can someone stop that child from drawing on the floor it's, of this shop? I mean, that that's chalk. really it's yeah. a, it I don't know, man. Anime. He's gonna mark that place up, and it's gonna it's gonna just cause a ruckus. Yeah, I mean, we all have done bad things for the kids. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if that's the worst thing, uh, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say that's pretty tame, especially if it's chalk on on pavement. That's oh, not so really a big deal. This is the thing for Alpha Two, or sorry, for Alpha Three, the your Vism mm -hmm. that you were just doing. I think what? Oh, I did A, so I've got just Rego. Uh, Rego. Uh. <laughs> you guys look great though. Doing yeah. much better than my uh, my sad Ken performance, in which maybe the first time I've picked up oh, uh, oh no. a Street Fighter that wasn't four or five in in many many ages. But what I love about the Alpha game, especially Alpha Three, is just like the UI, the energy. It's so hyperactive mm -hmm. and really exciting, and it just captures this completely different vibe than two or three. Um, yeah, the announcer voice in this game is super good. It's like everything is get ready to go. Don't don't blink. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Don't oh, possibly okay. change that channel. <laughs> you will regret. <laughs> <laughs> you will regret looking away even oh. for one second. Man, oh, oh man. man, getting worked, dude. I mean, yeah, this is uh, this is bad. Oh, she, like, that was like a chokehold and a bit of an elbow to the face. That move was pretty brutal. Man, yeah, see, there's, there's just a lot. The, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, well, one, the it's, one move. It's because Kim doesn't have to talk during the during the beatdown. This, beat is, this down. is totally true, he can, actually. He, <laughs> can focus, <laughs> he can focus on playing. Uh, it's the classic example. Does he have his... Oh! That's why I don't understand oh, how, no. how Twitch wow. streamers can like play and talk at the same time. It's it takes tough. a lot of practice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of practice. Uh, do we want to see... One, shall we see one more game, and then yeah, we'll call, yeah. call it up? Call it up. That's not a call phrase. it up, man. Call it up, man. I'm gonna use it the rest of the week. Yeah, just you guys do it. ready to call that up? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm gonna call up the online versions real quick. So hyper fighting. Oh <laughs> man, look at that. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yep. Alpha 3 and the 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 beautiful Street Fighter 3. As I as I gushed earlier, uh, it's just it's just such a slick, cool game. Uh, the music, the UI, character select, everything Wait, about I think, it. I think we should listen to the intro real quick. Okay. Right. It's a uh, let's let that play. Oh man, baby. 1999. Yep, <laughs> it's back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a full like hip hop opening song, man. It's so good. It's all about victory, you guys. There is no limit. There is no limit. This is the best. <laughs> oh yeah, get the brass in there. Oh man, that background singer is bringing heat to this. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, it's, this is it's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've shared like I. Oh. It's so good. Even though this game is a te very technically demanding as Street Fighter, <laughs> like as, as 2 Alpha and 3 kind of moved on, you get into this area that's, it's, it asks more of you but gives more back in return. Um, but it's just so stylish and solid, like across the board. That even if even if you're not going to be this high level pro play, it's just a treat to see and hear. Yeah, and this, that, that I mean, sounds that. like me like reading off a bullet pointed list, mm -hmm. but I'm just like no. on, honestly gushing at this point. That was all Im improv right there by Brett. There were there are no bullet points in front of him, not a single one. 
Oh no, where's my, in here. where's my things? Oh man, oh boy. Oh, boy. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Always a show of confidence <laughs> during a match. <laughs> the classic oops. The classic oops, yes. The other thing that I love about sort of the Street Fighter series overall is that it, each game in the franchise generates its own sub-community, like, you know, a group of players that want to rally around that and really master that game, and I think that's uh, quite fantastic to see, especially I mean, uh, a collection this, like this. I mean, this game is still played in arcades now, uh, especially in Japan. They have uh, a tournament every January with fi a team consisting of five people. Oh yeah, keep talking, like, keep talking. Don't <laughs> <laughs> totally get I'm gonna get. Hey, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Why I'm, do I even get out of bed? I'm pausing my anecdote for a second to uh, to lay the smack down. All right, so back to what I was saying, oh right? <laughs> uh, yeah, every January there is like a hundred teams, each team consisting of five people, and they still love this game. This game came out in 99. Oh. Uh, as you guys finish the match, I will finish the show. Um, any parting thoughts or anything uh, on Street Fighter 30th uh, Anniversary Collection? Yeah, one thing... Uh, I'll just go ahead and eat this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, one thing is just how different all the games are from each other. It, 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 in your head, you hear 2, Alpha, 3, but each game, the differences are so vast between 2, Alpha, and 3 alone. And then even within those you know subcategories, the Alpha and the 3 games, just very, very different experiences. So to have them all in one spot is like no joke just really exciting and very happy to bring us out. Awesome. So Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection is coming to PS4 in May. Uh, Brett and Kim, thank you gentlemen for joining me today. Thank you for having uh, us. And until next time, we'll see you on PlayStation Underground. PlayStation.